Hello and welcome back to this fourth lesson dealing with layers and printing and plotting in AutoCAD 2012. In this lesson I'll focus on two very used methods for dealing with structuring and organizing your drawing. The first method is mainly been used by architects for simple drawings with a low complexity made for an outline proposal, for instance in a scale 1 to 100. If you want to follow along, I'll advise you to create a drawing similar to this one with four lines and a little bit of explanation text. If you started out in a default template, you'll notice that the layers I applied here are not created yet, but I'll show you how to. You need to go to the home ribbon and press this layer property button, or you need to type in the shortcut LA which will open this dialog for you. In here you will see that I created three layers and the way that was done was by going to new layers and naming them, for instance green, thin, applying the colors you want on the specific layer, for instance a green one in this case, and in this example, I will apply the line weights within the layer property manager. And you'll notice here that the red one is thick, the yellow one is medium thickness, and the green one is the thin one. And you'll also notice that the blue one could be set to a default line weight because we have asked it not to be printed by pressing the printing printer button here. The next step will be to close down the layer property manager, select for instance the lines and the text you want to place in the specific layer, in this case the green one we just added, and press escape. In case we want to draw print this drawing, we probably don't want to have the different colors. Um, the color are mainly used so we can distinguish between, for instance, a thick external wall, a medium um, drawn window, or for instance, uh, some thin lines which is be being used for, uh, for instance, furnitures. So we'll go to our layout we will double click within this printing area and we will place the drawing and pan it around to an area that we are happy with. Something like this for instance. In case you need to print it out in scale, you want to go down here and add a specific scale to the drawing. You press exit and afterwards you go to the application menu and say print and plot or press ctrl p which will take you to this dialog where you are able to select a printer a paper size and very importantly you need to unfold these options so you can apply a plot style table and in this case a ctb file to the drawing for this method we'll use the monochrome and we'll take a look at its properties and see what it does. We notice that the red, yellow and green are all being set up to convert the color into a black color. And furthermore, it is using the object line weights as we see it here for all three of them. We'll save and close this one and take a preview of what it looks like and we will notice that the red one is thicker than the yellow which is thicker than the green one and furthermore we'll notice that the blue line which was set to invisible or not being printed is not visible in this case. I'll cancel this and jump to another drawing which explains Method 2, which is used for more complex drawings, in, for instance a scale 1 to 20, 
where you have multiple, uh, for instance, building parts, um, layers within the construction that you want to uh, distinguish between. And the example I'll show is using the IVB layers defined by the Danish Union BIPs. This is an example of what such a drawing could look like. Um, you'll probably also experience that there are many different standards out, especially in the Danish um, building industry. But if you get a drawing or a company template which looks something like this with a lot of A and a lot of numbers, um, it is probably based on the SFB uh, coding system and the IBB layers defined, defined by BIPs. I'll close down this small example and open another template which is made by Via University College which is also implementing and using the IBB layers. To demonstrate how they work I will once again create a very simple drawing for, uh, I think we'll take three lines. I'll apply them to different layers. For instance, A21, which is given a Y color, A31, 4, which could be a window, and maybe a 29 H which is an orange color and is normally being used for for instance a hatching within that layer. If I jump to some of my predefined layouts here I'll notice that in this template there's already a drawing head and it looks like my drawing is already within the printing area. I'll press Ctrl P and I will now use one of the plot style tables which is developed together with the template. In this case I'll use the scale 1 to 20. I'll check the properties of it and in here I'll notice that in a similar way, from the monochrome CDB file, the colors are being transferred to a black color, all of them. But I, I also noticed that the line weights are defined in here uh, and not in the layer property manager. So for instance, my red line here is being given in line weight uh, on 0.25 millimeters and the black and white line, color 7, is giving um, a thicker line weight. Apply this to my layout, maybe make a... or select a printer and take a preview of it. And once again, if I zoom in, I should be able to see a difference um, between the different layers. I'll cancel this and demonstrate that for this drawing template I have four different CDB files and the CDB files are different in that way that for instance the red color we looked at before which had the line weight 0 0.25 is now being given a different line weight, a thicker one. And this allows us to reuse the same information, the same lines, print them in different scale and still have the same graphical appearance of the drawing. I'll cancel this and jump back to my model space. The other important reason for using this method for more complex drawings is that it allows you to change the line weight of the uh, drawing Within the CDB file, you can imagine having a drawing with this amount of layers where the line weights would be applied here, like we saw in method one. And then having to do some changes where, for instance, all of the green ones have to change. 
then we would have to do it for each individual layer here instead of just changing one place in the CTB file. Before ending, I'll just show you how to manage your plot style. You'll want to go to the application menu, go to print, scroll down a little bit and click the manage plot styles, which will take you to the folder where these CTB files are placed. In case you're a VIA stu student, you want to copy the one from StudyNet and paste them into this folder. When that's being done, they should appear under your plot style tables here. Cancel this, go back to my model space. I'll end for now. I hope these two methods gave you a basic insight of how to structure and organize your drawing as well as uh, how to use CDB files to uh, plot and print your drawings. More importantly, I hope this introduction will enable you to understand whatever drawing templates and whatever drawing standards you are facing in your professional life. Bye for now and hope to see you in lesson 5.